Today, we're going to look at automated content delivery with push notifications thanks to Gravitech, a deal that's currently available for $39 in the AppSumo store that gives you 25,000 subscribers per site on unlimited sites with unlimited push notifications and a bunch of other cool features. Now, again, it's automated content delivery. And let's log into Gravitech where I have put this on AIprofits.com. And if we go to AIprofits.com, we'll be able to see what this actually means. You know, how it works, what it is. And what it is, is this, would you like to receive notifications pop up when you come onto the site? You click allow, and then it'll say, AI Profits wants to show notifications. We'll hit allow one more time. And down here in the bottom left corner, we're gonna see the Gravitech widget, in which case we can configure notifications and we can select what we're interested in. Now, just to be upfront with you, Gravitech currently is a little bit outside of my uh, comfort zone or my knowledge level, or I don't know the words for it, but essentially it's a little bit too confusing for me to figure out. Now, once we set this up and figure it out, it's a set it and forget it type system because it does use automations. And I've got a couple already set up that I'm gonna show you today. The point is though, I don't exactly know how to do these categories quite yet. We'll be able to see push notification history here. So let's log in and let's actually create a campaign and we can send out a push notification. If I wanted to put a push notification for my latest YouTube video, which is on Switchy, I could switch the link and then I could jump into Gravitech and I could paste the link in my destination URL. And then here I could give it a UTM tag, you know, for a campaign, it's not required. And then we could say Switchy is one of my favorite AppSumo deals of all time. Here we could upload a custom icon if we needed to. And this is our preview panel. And we're gonna see what it looks like on Android through the Chrome browser, Opera, Firefox, Yandex. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those correctly. We can also see Windows 7, Windows 10, Mac OS, Safari, or Chrome. So we get a good consensus on how this push notification is gonna look on different devices. Down here, we're gonna be able to schedule our push notifications or send them immediately. We can also decide on the time zone as well as the campaign category and even the distribution of delivery, in which case every five minute interval, it'll send out you know a specific number. I don't know exactly, like I said, I don't know exactly how all of these bells and whistles work. Uh, however, the rich notifications feature is pretty cool. We can come in here and we can upload an image and we can resize it a slight bit so that we can make sure the switchy your links fit. And then up here at the top, we're gonna be able to see that our image, it actually doesn't look very good. But on Windows, on desktop devices, it looks pretty good. Windows 7, Windows 10, not so much. But down here, we could also tell it under targeting which browser or which device to show it to. And all of this is gonna be based on your subscribers. So for example, countries, I'm the only current subscriber as I'm testing this tool. So it says United States only. It has the city based on my IP address that it's pinging. It has the OS, so OS X and Windows. And then it also has the language, which is English. So these are the different ways that we can target campaigns. We can send it to segments. And here we can create a segment based on different criteria, which is perfect if you like to target your audience based on devices and uh, certain types of content catered towards, say, cell phones versus desktop or you know Mac versus Windows, et cetera. So I don't really care about any of those types of features personally, but where I get value out of a tool like this is as the channel grows, one, I can send notifications to people that actually want to receive them because you opt in on AIprofits.com. And two, I can set up automations so that I can have notifications sent on a certain time period, which we're gonna get to next. Let's actually send this notification and let's see what it looks like. So down here, we can test the notification or we can send the campaign. And what we'll see, it was successfully created. And let's go back to AIprofits.com. And what we should see is this notification. Now I've had problems testing this because I'm doing the Gravitech and then I'm testing it. But down here, we'll see the actual notification, the Bitly alternative you need. I don't know exactly what the user experience is on this type of a tool. I would expect it to come across, 
you know, my computer in some capacity, and I don't actually see that right now. I might just be doing something wrong, but we do see it here in push history. And then we can click that and it opens up our latest YouTube video. So that is kind of the campaign feature as far as creating campaigns. We can come in here to campaign history and we can see we have scheduled RSS automations and then we have a few others that I was just testing out in general. We can test this out by logging into Twitter and oh my gosh, Peter Schiff says he was wrong about Bitcoin. <laughs> That's like, is oh, is that April Fool's? Today's April Fool's Day. All right, I got sidetracked there. We can paste in this link and what I absolutely love, and that was my go, that wasn't my YT, uh, it was my go.ai profits, whoops. But what I love about this is that now this has been shared to our Twitter. And if we come back to AIprofits.com, what we'll see is that I have tweets set up to send push notifications. So here we should be able to see, but I will come back here in a second and refresh and you'll see that it does update the push notifications and it'll have this Twitter tweet to push. So that is a very cool feature. And let's actually get into some of these automations so that we don't waste too much time on this video. So we have the RSS to push, which is gonna be more important as I write more blogs. And the way this works, if we come in here and manage, is we'll be able to kind of plug in a feed. And then it right now I've got it set for top news. In fact, I'm gonna change it here for breaking news. I think the difference here, top news sends once a day, no matter how much you post and stuff. Whereas breaking news, I think every time you post, it sends between this time period and I have a 12 hour time period, and then I have it at five per day. But this is pretty much all you have to set up. Here you can add some buttons. You know, maybe you want a button that directs you to the YouTube channel or to the blog directly. You know, I don't have any of that set up. In fact, this here is something that I'll be looking at more in the future as the blog gets more content. And we'll move on to drip campaigns where we can send a series of informative notifications for new subscribers. So I don't have this turned on because I don't have the actual campaign set, but if I had like a five day welcome series, I could send a campaign each day that drips to my subscribers based on the content that I wanna share with them. And as I get more established and more together, then I'm gonna actually be focusing on things of this nature so that I can bring the most value to my audience, to you, uh, for hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel and ultimately bringing you know, value so that you keep coming back. We've got Push Digest, and this is like a weekly, or it could even be a daily digest of the most popular items from your RSS feed in a single notification. So this is another cool thing. They have these metrics that kind of show, based on Gravitech users, how Gravitech is actually helping you get more engagement out of your audience. This tweet to push is what I've already kind of demoed here. And in fact, let's go back and let's refresh this and let's see if our tweet has actually pushed the notification. You know, it hasn't. This is not doing well because it actually has worked in the past. Perhaps it is like, perhaps it's like a five minute thing. Let's come in here and let's manage this and we'll see how it works. So we've got our Twitter profile set up. I'm gonna click edit. And then we've got one campaign per day. And then we have automatically send campaigns from these hashtags. So I don't have any hashtags here set. Let's go up to like four per day. I don't think I've tweeted anything out, but well, there we go. Two campaigns, three cent, one clicked. So now if we come back, maybe that was like a limitation. I don't think, I, yeah, there it is. So I had it set, I guess I had done this a day ago or something, and uh, now it actually switchy your links. Today we look at a Bitly alternative. So this is the push notification campaign that we set up at the beginning, the Bitly alternative you need. And then switchy your links is the tweet that we just sent out. So the problem here is that I actually had it capped at one campaign per day. I guess if you tweet a lot, you can limit your updates, you know, through push notifications, but mostly the only things I tweet out are my actual YouTube videos. And that's how I'm gonna use Gravitech. Every time I do a YouTube video, I go to Twitter, I paste the link, I send it, and then what's gonna happen is through my website, if you have notifications turned on, it will actually send you the tweet with the video. And if we jump back here and click this, it sends you right to YouTube. And then I say, of course, link shorteners are the coolest thing. So that's pretty cool. And all in all, I think Gravitech is a truly fantastic tool for this $39 value. And we're not done going through it yet, but let's look at the actual deal. 
As I said in the beginning, what you get here is 25,000 subscribers per site with unlimited sites, unlimited users, unlimited automations, and unlimited notifications. There's a lot of unlimited there. And you get all features above, which of course is lifetime access. So on the Gravitech website, the business plan is the only plan other than the free plan, which appears to be free forever. Upgrade to business anytime. And this gives you a stripped down or more limited version of the business plan. But 25,000 subscribers is $100 a month on the business plan, which makes me wonder how sustainable is this tool if they actually have people paying $100 a month for 25,000 subscribers versus that $39 unlimited sites, unlimited everything. I don't know. It's worth the risk to me. You'll have to make that determination yourself. But let's continue going through the actual tool itself. So we've gone through automations. There's five right now. You can have a special welcome message, which is the only one I haven't touched on. This is where 100% of your new subscribers will receive this notification. I think that's a cool thing to personally greet people that enable push notifications. Something that I'll be doing, I'll be creating here shortly. Uh, the prompt and bell is where we're going to move next. This is the actual push notification, you know, prompt when you come on to the site. Would you like to receive notifications? No thanks or allow. And then here we'll say, instead of no thanks, let's say cancel. I've noticed this on some of the more pro level sites. Instead of saying allow, you know, they say cancel or something instead of no thanks. I don't know. I don't know if that really matters, but we can customize it and there you'll see the uh, customization. And then we'll say, would you like to receive notifications? I'm fine with that. We have our colors here. You know, it's kind of in that purplish tone. We'll kind of stick with that there. And this is the desktop experience. Then we can come into the mobile experience and we can see what it looks like on mobile. Again, we might want to change this color. So that's mobile. Now we can block the override. And here we've got our color set in more of this bluish tone. And here it'll say reshow permission prompt. This increases subscription rate by 10%. And then we can have after one day since clicked block, or we could even do after one hour. And in fact, I'm going to do it after four hours. So every four hours you come to my site, it'll say, would you like to enable push notifications? I think, you know, might as well. Then we've got the bell here. And for the bell, we can change the colors once more and the lower left corner. And this is where you can specify what people are actually interested in. So here I've entered in all app, Sumo, AI, websites, video tools. Now, what I'm curious about is I don't actually know how to send campaigns based on these interests. So this is something that I'm actually going to be removing. I'm just going to hit the delete button here until I figure this out more. Uh, so I do need to dig in a little bit deeper, but I don't want that to hold up this video. So we have the RSS feed, and this is something that AI profits can't really properly demonstrate because I don't write enough content. Let's move on to reports. So here we've got our reports. This is the number delivered, the number seen, number opened, closed, sent, etc. Again, I'm the only person that's tested this out to date. So I don't have too much going on. You can see I bought this about a week ago. I was going to make a video then, got busy, didn't. Uh, so now we're getting on it today. Now campaign history, this is all of the campaigns we've sent. So again, we've got this RSS automation. This checks, I think, every day. So in the future, as I write more, this will be of value. For subscribers, we have the different subscribers, and here we'll see that I'm the only subscriber. We can see OS X, we can see Windows. Uh, in fact, I just got a brand new computer. It's gonna help with this YouTube channel, help with my real estate photography, all of those things. I got the Mac M1 Mini. Is that what it's called? The M1, the uh, new chip in the Mac. I don't know. I don't know much about computers, but uh, this thing is supposed to be fantastic. So this is our subscription report. Again, you can see what type of devices, what type of countries your audience is from. You can calculate custom tags. Uh, this stuff is, this is where the stuff goes over my head. Under segments, it's the same type of thing. Here we've got where we can tag based on different things. So I guess here's where I could send a push notification based on AppSumo's interest. So there we figured that out in this video. I get a little bit confused. I don't know what to do is for the items by default. So we'll just discard that. That's something I got to think about in the future. But again, under the segments, we can come here and we could actually send the segments based on the interest from this area. 
So hopefully this video has brought you some value. I don't know if I've been that helpful here, but under settings, we do have the general settings where we can set up our UTMs. We have the integrations. So this is how you actually put it on your site. Uh, we're going to be putting this on a web start site so that you can see how to put it on a non WordPress site, but currently it's on AI profits, which is a WordPress site. So I just downloaded and installed the Gravitech plugin, logged into my account, and that's all it was. They do have a Wix setup as well, but I think the Wix looks awfully familiar to the standard. So again, I think that ultimately, if we put this on a web start site in future videos, it's kind of going to be the same for anything that's non-WordPress. This is a tool that has a lot of potential. It has a great price point, very, very generous offer. Again, 25,000 subscribers, unlimited sites, unlimited notifications, automations, all of those fantastic fantastic things. I can see the real value in a tool like this, which is why I picked it up. I've gotten a few of you requests uh, that I actually do a video on it. And it was a little bit outside of my uh, comfort zone. But I do think with the Twitter push notifications, as well as that segmenting, if I can quite kind of dial in where I can segment the audience to send relevant updates, but then you have the default that everyone goes into. And it's like, how does that work? Because, you know, I don't know.